Ready? Hey, it's John with Wayland Speed. Um, going over some of the features that a MoTeC standalone system has to offer. Uh, the one we have here in front of us is for a 17 to technically 21 Turbo R. The Turbo RR model is slightly different. We'll have those here this week. Um, the basis of the kit is a John Reed firmware. That's the JRR. Uh, and then we also have an adapter harness that adapts from the MoTeC connectors to the factory harness. And these are like potted so they're waterproof here. Some people do ask if the MoTeCs are waterproof. The base kit does not come with a waterproof um, system, but there are marine type ECUs that are uh, like a waterproof unit. And that's a $200 upgrade if anybody's interested. Um, a couple of the other little things, there's an igniter. These coils are considered dumb coils, so they need an igniter. Uh, and then this is a relay. Um, this is actually for the factory fuel pump system. The, in the factory ECU, the ECU would ground the pump, but uh, it's kind of crazy to, to ground a fuel pump, especially when we put bigger ones in it that have more amp draw. And then, I'll put this down here. We have a connector for our MoTeC LTC. So this just so happens to be an LTC 4.9. They also make a LTC NTK. They just use different wideband sensors. This sensor is a little bit easier to get your hands on. You could buy this at O'Reilly's if need be. Um, so this handles the O2 sensor, the wideband side of things. This allows us to have full-time control of air to fuel ratio. Like the stock ECU, well the stock non-21 RR ECUs are a rather simple, we, we consider it a narrow band where the ECU really only knows one value which is stoic, um, which is like your idle and cruise air to fuel ratio. When you go into power, it disregards most of that. It might pull in some corrections to it, but uh, this one can, you know, the Motex can control fuel all the time. Idle, cruise, wide open throttle, anything. Um, we also have an expander, which is really neat. So it also comes with this expander harness. So you would take this, you would plug it in. And now we have two pressure sensors, which these are aftermarket pressure sensors we would normally use uh, like zero to 150 PSI sensors. These ones are pre-labeled and pre-set up for fuel and oil. And then we also have a flex fuel sensor. So we will be, we've already been selling the kits. We just haven't really added it to the website yet, but we have a conversion for the, uh, the fuel system that integrates a flex fuel sensor. So basically we can have two, two tunes in there, but you know, basically we have two tunes in there, one for 91 or 93 octane and one for E98 or E85. And based on the ethanol content, the ECU will automatically adjust ignition timing, boost pressure, AFR targets, a bunch of other things that we can adjust with that ethanol content. Um, another thing is we have a spare out. So we have six more pins here. Um, the M150, you know, we're basically using every single pin and connector in this, in this M130 to control it. So we get a couple extra here if we wanted to add a pressure sensor or an output, something like a nitrous control or if you had like wanted to control a different fan or something like that, that can be done through a relay. The M150 systems, this would basically plug into an M150, which this adds another two connectors to it. So this will expand and give you way more input and output control. It is a bit more money for this. I think it's about a $780 upgrade to the M150 from the M130. And if you're full crazy, like race car build, you can do a PDM. So this communicates with the MoTeC and a CAN pad and a dash. It, it all communicates on CAN. 
and this will control all your powers. So anything you wanted to turn on can get rid of the relays and the fuses and everything. The PDM will control all of that. This is pretty rare. It's more common in like high levels of motorsport, but pretty rare in our system. If you want to add a dash, um, we have the ability to keep the factory dash and just add a MoTeC dash next to it. This might be more suitable for guys who do endurance racing where a co-driver needs to see more information than what the driver has. The driver's driving, the co-driver's making decisions or letting people know or the driver know what's going on. We also have the ability to delete the factory dash and have the MoTeC be your primary dash. Um, the 2020 models, they're a little bit more, they, like the connector changed in the 2020 models from the previous model, so a year specification is important for that. Um, to kind of round it off, we have like a simple eight button can pad. They have a 15 button can pad as well. Um, if you want to on the fly, we can increase boost pressures. There's a starting button where there's no lights on. You press this button, one light comes on, two lights, three lights. You can actually, you can make like eight positions out of one switch technically. It just changes the way the lights are set up. But you can activate launch control, clear codes, override fans. This one just has some nitrous stuff on it. Um, you know, like there, there's a million things you can do. Whatever you think of that can, can be controlled by the ECU or the PDM could be done through this. And this, this is also a pretty cool feature. We've been using this a bit more. Um, this is a multi-position switch. So this is actually a 11 position switch. So every click tells the ECU that we're in a different position. So for example, you'd have something like this, right? So say you want low power, medium power, high power, and then crazy power on like a specific race car or in a certain situation, you can have this thing, you can like start the race turned up, get out in front, you just don't want all the power all the time, you can turn it back, turn it down. This can be all done live on the fly. So this is a really cool feature. We're gonna be integrating this into this specific MoTeC package. Um, and then we can make steps of horsepower, say five horsepower, 10 horsepower per click. So the person can, in the beginning of the race, say the track is loose and you want less power. And then as more rubber gets put down on the track, you can turn it up more. This is a, a user feature that is really trick to do that. So this is kind of going over the MoTeC system for a 2020 model. The 21s are slightly different. There, there's gonna be I could say it's mostly going to be in the harness, but the function and everything else is the same. So we're, we're going to install this. Uh, we're going to actually just show a video quick of us doing the install. It's really simple and easy. Um, these units will start to come shipped preloaded with tunes that match our packages. So say you had a, a stock injector, like a spec type class where you needed stock injectors. Um, you had a class that was pretty wide open. That would be like our FP green stuff or even our stock turbo uh, stuff, E85, flex fuel, the whole nine, and then our bigger power packages. So we will try to make this as easy for you because it is kind of complex if you haven't played with it a lot, but um, that's the plan and stay tuned for pricing and availability on the website.